Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. I just finished doing your reading. This is a quick preview before jumping to the full video. So what can I say shortly for you is that you want to jump to something new, starting something new and uh, you will gain clarity about it and at the same time are coming, you are coming from a situation that drained you emotionally, was not toxic, but you are willing to put a lot of effort and dedication to make this work and the overall energy is the magician card so you have all the tools to to do it i don't sense it you will jump immediately but uh, because there will be some contemplation hesitation on should i stay or go but i sense that uh, after some uh, reflection there will be a, a good uh, conclusion about uh, that uh, relationship, a new relationship, or it may be a new restart of a connection that uh, didn't work out before. To watch uh, all the details of the spread, continue watching the video. Hi Pisces, welcome back. Uh, this is your general love reading for October 2020. Now, first let's shuffle the deck five times. Keep in mind that those are general readings, so they may or may not resonate with all of you. If they do, please let me know in the comments. And uh, if you want to book a personal reading, the details are in the description box below. Also, if you want to support me, you can buy me a virtual cup of coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash WM Tarot. Uh, the link is also in the description box below. And one more shuffle for you, Pisces. So let's see. What do we have for Pisces for October 2020, please? The overall energy for the reading is the Magician. Pisces, you have the tools, all the tools, to manifest everything you want. So, be careful of what you think and of what you want, because you have all the tools, again, to, to accomplish anything you want. Now, let's see. You have the full card crossed by the Ace of Wands. Uh, in the reverse. So there's this energy of jumping uh, to something new without thinking too much of the risks or making proper plans. But I, th I think there is the, uh, this idea of uh, wanting to start something new. And uh, be careful because if you want to start something new but don't have that uh, energy or passion to move forward, if you want just to jump to something for the uh, purpose of just escaping something, so if you want to start something new because you want to escape something that is not working for you, so you have not all that passion and energy, be careful because uh, that's not recommended. Now, again, uh, with the Knight of Wands, you want to move forward fast with a lot of uh, energy to accomplish 
whatever you want. And you have all the tools, in fact, you will, ha will have success about it. And are very determined, in fact, have a very clear, uh, clear idea of what you want. That's what is your focus. Even though in the near future, I sense uh, you will be a bit hesitant with the two of ones here. That's why I said that Yes, you can jump to something new, it can be a new connection, but don't jump into it if you don't have the passion and love for it, because you may come to a state where you will feel uh, less uh, passionate or a bit bored about the situation and will think about starting something else or moving to some uh, someplace else, somewhere else. In the recent past, you have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. So, uh, in the recent past, there was some loss of optimism about making things happen. So, I see now you are very determined to move forward, but in the past, there was some loss of passion and optimism to move forward. Let's see why the Queen of Wands in the reverse, please. Why the Queen of Wands in the reverse, please? Strength. The Devil in the reverse. Yes, uh, you... I sense that it was something uh, that drained you a lot emotionally. A connection that uh, was not very healthy and uh, you had some obsession about this connection and didn't want to let it go but uh, it drained you emotionally I guess but there was this tendency to hold on to a connection that was not he uh, healthy now let's see uh, in the current moment, you have the Eight of Pentacles. That's how uh, you see yourself. So now you want to be more dedicated to to work. I sense it is work. So uh, this full card with the Ace of Wands in the reverse, I sense uh, it is your idea to start a new project and be fully dedicated to it. But is there passion? You have to think about it. Uh, you are working hard or are willing to work hard on it. But do you really love that project or whatever you, you are thinking? It, uh, it tells me it is more work related. And uh, the energy around you that you may not be aware of is the justice in the reverse. So there is this lack of uh, stability, not much stability, but unfairness. So it seems like it has been unfair, unfair to you. The situation where all things that happened to you have been unfair. And uh, that's the perception. And about uh, the hype is in the reverse. Your hopes and fears is the high priestess in the reverse. So I think you should listen more to your intuition and uh, not focus on superficial things. Intuition in general never lies. When we hear something we don't like from our intuition, we make up stories that maybe we are not seeing things uh, quite right and we give chances after chances. But that uh, calling, that uh, voice of intuition that told us that there's something I don't like about uh, this situation, the energy is not quite right. That's what you hope now uh, 
starting from now and uh, forward to to listen more to your intuition and your experience what is your gut feeling about that and as the potential outcome for the month of october you have the world card let's see why the world card there ten of pentacles the hermit the hierophant at the bottom of the deck there is the emperor interesting i sense you will be uh, thinking for some time about the direction you want to take maybe you will jump to a situation without thinking too much at first but then you will stop and reflect and meditate and uh, you want to see does this connection really offer potential long-term commitment and maybe some marriage or engagement, something that is serious. And I sense it will be, because you have the world card here, uh, that means it will be a successful one. So, whatever you will be thinking about this connection, I think it will be successful. But you uh, will judge not immediately because you'll have to uh, be a bit uh, withdrawn and uh, think about it but i sense you will realize that it will be something uh, worth it so pisces this was your reading i hope it was uh, helpful let me know in the comments if it resonated with you if you want a private uh, reading you can book uh, a private reading the details are in the description box below and uh, if you want to buy me a, a virtual coffee you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash wmtarot the link this link is also in the description box below and uh, until the next video i wish you all the best and uh, bye for now